Hi guys! I told you I would do a live this morning, but I have run out of time. I am going to just do a quick video tutorial and then I will do a live later. I had planned on making several of these cute little dish towels that are Eastery, but we're going to do just one and I'm going to show you how to do this and then later on I'll go live and I'll do a few more and I'll do some other kitchen ones too. Um, my problem was that I hadn't ironed these last night and it took me about 10 minutes to iron each towel and I've got work to do. So we're going to get started on this. This is our um, little bunny from our Build-A-Bunny and then I have some pieces. These are from our um, Spring Words and this is from our Happy Easter. So we have a combination of things here. So on fabric, you use ink, and you use an ink mat underneath of it. The ink mat um, comes in a larger size. I believe this is 11 by 23 is what it is, and it's sticky. I cut this in half, so this is half of an ink mat. And what you want to do is you, you place this underneath your fabric. So... I like to do my designs on my fabric on my bottom right hand corner of my towel. Everybody's different. Some people center it so they can fold their towel into thirds, but I like it to be on this bottom corner. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put my, my ink mat on this bottom corner to stabilize it. These are towels that are from Walmart so I know that you can get ones that are much better than this but this is what I had available to me and they took a long time to iron they're very very wrinkly when you first get them and they are not completely um, square that is the weird thing is that let me see if I can get that better square this down um, yeah these there are better qualities but I want to be able to show you how to do this so we're just gonna go with it this is what I had I may go ahead and order some online that are better I just need to source them so the great thing is these wash up just fine it is just this area here that is hard to deal with maybe if I do it from this side I can get it even. You just want it nice and flat on your on your ink mat. You don't want any bubbles. This is going to hold it nice and even so that we can do our inking on here. Okay, that's that looks better. All right, so we're going to start with our bunny and our leaves for our flowers and because they require layers so the flowers are going to go over that and then the bunny has some cute little details with fabric you do not need to fuzz you want it to adhere very tightly to your fabric so you're not going to fuzz your transfer you're just going to lay it down just like that and then i'm going to put the flowers are going to be next to him so I just peel my backer sheet off and set that to the side. And I have, I'm have, i I'm not gonna have it right next to him. I'm gonna have it a little bit over, I think. Let me, let me think. Okay, um, let's do him and then, well, let's see. We have to dry in between. I am going to put this right here right next to him it doesn't have to be touching him the flowers are next to him okay and i have that so i can still pull that up so i will do my green leaves first this is our ink and it's a very smooth consistency and with the ink you want to make sure that everything is is down and you are not going to work this so you are going to put it on and you're just going to smooth it out if you work it too much, it's going to go underneath your transfer. So you're just going to spread it 
and it's not going to dry right away but you do want to go ahead and pull your transfer so and these i haven't folded the corners under i should have done that but i can do that next time so you're just going to pull this up just like this and then this is going to go into a water bath You're going to wash these just the same as you wash all your other transfers. You're going to make sure that you don't have any on your fingers. And this color, I'm, I'm not sure how this is going to show up on this. Um, the, the ones I do later, I may end up doing chocolate bunnies. We'll see how he shows up, what contrast we have, because we can't do the white because the white wouldn't show up. So I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to need just a little bit more and dip my squeegee into my ink. Okay, so like I say, you don't want to overwork it. You want to make sure that you have it evenly covered. The fabric will absorb it fairly quickly. And then you're going to pull your transfer. All right. Well, he showed up just fine. Okay. I'm going to put this into the water bath. And now I need to dry between my layers. And always make sure that you're wiping your fingers. So to dry between my layers, I have to take this off. This is probably the biggest pain in the butt part because you don't want your fresh ink to get messed up so we're removing this and you could let it sit but you really don't want this to dry on your ink mat okay so I am carefully lifting this this is where two people would be great and you notice that the ink has gone through so before I put this back down here I'm going to wipe this So you could do this in two stages. You could let it sit and let it dry, or you could do, I'm gonna dry it with a heat gun. So you're constantly moving your heat gun. You don't want this to burn your ink or your fabric. This is an industrial heat gun, it's from Uline. And the ink takes a little bit longer than the chalk paste to dry. And then you're going to return it to room temperature. So now I just have it on air. Okay. And then I'm just going to feel it. Okay, so it's dry enough. Okay, this, I'm going to just spritz this with water. And I'm going to wipe it with a paper towel. You do not use your Clorox wipes on this. This simply wipes off just like that. Okay, just like that. If you put Clorox wipes on it, then you are going to mess up the sticky part and then you'll be really sad. So I am going to just lay this back down on here. And we're going to do the rest of our project. So I think a chocolate bunny would be cute. I could use chocolate, um, which is our bark color. I could use that next time. Or I have one that I've mixed that's kind of in between. Just trying to get this flat because I am putting words up here. Not gonna worry about some of the other areas. Make sure, I just wanna make sure that where I am doing the ink is gonna be flat. So our little bunny is going to get some cheeks and ears and I am just looking through here and lining that up want to make sure I get them in the right place it's a little bit more difficult on the fabric because it's hard to see your fabric absorbs this really well 
So this is just his ears and his cheeks. And then these are the flowers that go down here on the stems. I'm gonna get all of my transfers ready. And remember, you do not need to fuzz this. You are just simply gonna just put it down onto your fabric and smooth out all of your little air bubbles. I think we'll do our purple, our grape on this. And this little butterfly is gonna go right there. And then this little butterfly right here, I think. And then I need room for my words that says, somebody loves you. So I will do that right here. I have all my colors picked out. All my inks are ready to go. If you're concerned about going out of the areas, you could put blue painters tape, but I'm just going to go for this. So I'll do these flowers first. Let's do that out of our, our purple right here. Let me look at the bottom. Um, oh, this is actually called Regal. So I, I haven't used it before. Some of the inks were brand new. When you open your ink, you're just gonna stir it. You don't have to add water ever. Do not add water to your ink. It is not gonna be too thick. It's gonna be perfect consistency every time. So. And we're just going to pull our transfer. And we have our beautiful flowers. This is going into my water bath. And then we're going to take some of our pink right here. I think this is going to be peony pink. Let me. Yes, this is peony. Okay. And I have these little mini squeegees. I'm just gonna spread that on there. This is his cheeks and his ears. Excess goes back into the jar, just like with chalk paste. You just don't wanna work it too much, so. All right, so there's his little cheeks and his ears, and they probably could have went up a little bit higher, but that's okay. He will be fine. His cheeks are very low on his face. Okay, um, we are gonna do, let's do this, let's do this yellow. Get a little squeegee here. These are the butterflies out of Happy Easter. So I've just cut and pieced, thing, pieced my things together here. I'm gonna pull that transfer. And I see that right down on the corner here, I didn't quite get that. So let me just try to fill that in. Okay, perfect. So I'm setting my my Cricut Easy Press to 305 degrees. That is the temperature that they suggest that we heat set these at. I'm going to use my Forget Me Not Blue on this little butterfly. And I'm just carefully spreading it. And my fabric is um, very porous and it is soaking up this ink really quickly. So it's taking a little bit more than I actually thought it would. So just getting that down into the transfer area, into the soap screen, putting the excess back into my jar, and then I'm gonna pull this. Uh, 
Okay, so my words, you know what? Um, I think I'm going to turn my words. I think I really want them to be kind of at a diagonal. Just like that. All right, I'm going to use our see the color sorry guys this is tied the ink colors have different names and I don't use them a lot so some of them I have to peek I have to cheat to look on the bottom the name of them is on the bottom so you're just going to carefully spread this through your transfer it's very smooth and consistent, the, the texture of your ink. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull this. And there we go. All right. So the hardest and longest part of this was actually doing um, the the irony of this when I had to iron it. That's telling me my easy press is ready. So now we're gonna carefully get this off of this ink mat. We're just gonna slowly lift it up so we don't fold it in half. And our bunny does not have eyes. I don't know why these bunnies don't have eyes, but they just don't. If you wanted to add eyes, you could do a little dot of black. I may go back and do that later but that's just the way this design is built so i'm just peeling this up getting it unstuck from here carefully so that i don't fold it over and get the wet ink onto any other part of my towel so carefully carefully get someone to help you if you need to okay so now we're going to dry this really quick with the heat gun, and then we're gonna heat set it. Make sure you don't have any of the ink on your fingers, like I just touched this right here, one of the little squeegees, so I am wiping my fingers onto a paper towel, making sure that I'm not going to transfer any of that onto my towel. Okay, so you just want to dry it with the heat gun. And then I am going to grab some parchment paper. So I just buy the parchment paper from Costco. It's gonna last a long time. You can use it for baking and you can use it for this. And the parchment paper is going to provide a protection between your ink and your Easy Press. And the Cricut Easy Press, they have this nice little mat. You're gonna put that underneath because the Easy Press is really hot. This is a non-stick surface underneath, but it is not completely heat resistant. Like the, the Easy Press goes to a very high temperature and is very consistent. You wanna make sure that you're protecting your surface underneath. So that goes there. And then I'm trying to get this even. I really don't want that to go through. I'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper under. I'm concerned that it might go through so if if you want just add a little extra protection so that will absorb any of the ink that isn't completely dry you could let this dry overnight and then you wouldn't have any issues but I want to show you all so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my easy press and it, it is set to 305 degrees and we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. So I set my timer. It's going to count down. 
and we're going to do each area so this this got the top area and you can use an iron for this you can set it at your high at your cotton setting with no steam and you could just iron different areas and just keep going back and forth so i'm going to do the top part and then i'm going to do this bottom part all right so i'm going to set my timer again and then we're going to flip it over and do the back so you're going to heat set it from the front and then you're going to heat set it from the back and if you had a regular heat press that you use for t-shirts the big ones you would not need to flip it over it is enough to do it on both sides and this might also but it just kind of is an added protection that it is heat set 100 percent completely heat set it's going to last you can wash it it's not going to come out okay so i'm going to take this off and you can feel there is a difference there's a change in consistency The texture of it feels a lot different. So now we're just going to flip it over and going to do the back. So I'll set my timer. So what do you think, guys? That was a quick, easy project. Sorry, I wasn't able to go live this morning. I actually was up very late. I posted some tutorials earlier that I did last night. I got to bed probably around 12.30 and then I had my alarm set for 4, which I usually get up at 4, but it didn't happen. I, I pressed snooze a couple of times. So that's part of my problem. The other problem was that these take a long time to iron. And there are other types that are more stiff that are not, this is a cheaper brand. So other towels may not take as long. They took 15 minutes each because I was being so picky. And now they're, it looks like they're already wrinkled again. I have two other ones that I'll do on my live. And I might even do more because I have some other regular designs. Okay, so now we can take this off. This is heat set. This is permanent now. It is not going to come off. I'm going to set this to the side and I'm going to clean my mat. Now you don't want the ink to dry on your mat. You can see that the ink went through. So I just spritz it with water. And then you're going to take a paper towel and you're going to wipe. And you're just wiping off that ink, getting that off of there. Don't rub too hard. You don't want to get all the sticky off. You just want to get the ink off because you don't want that going onto your next project. And remember, you never ever heat, you never ever heat this up, okay? You need to just remove it, even if it's a pain to remove it from your surface you're working on. I learned the hard way because I knew I was supposed to remove it, but I was doing a tutorial and the second that I started heating that up, it started bending and twisting. So don't do that. They cost, they cost money. You'd have to replace it. Mine I lucked out because I caught it right away. Okay, so here we have our little towel. I'm going to fold it. And that's going to be really cute for Easter. So I have some other Easter designs and I have a couple of kitchen designs that I'll do later. But I wanted to show you guys, this is our ink, and that's how you do it, and it's really, really easy. Don't be fearful of it. It is not forgiving. It does not come out, but look how easy it was. You just take your time, and I, his, his cheeks are really low. Oh, well. Okay, so this, this should have been further up, but I'm not going to stress. It is a towel. So, hey, guys, thank you for joining me. If you want to know more about Chalk Couture, leave a message be below. Just put info. I'll send you some information on it. It's a great company. Um, I have enjoyed working for them and being a designer. I have enjoyed going to the shows and demoing the product. And I'm sure I'm going to have many, many more years with them. So, all right, guys, have a wonderful day. It is Thursday and I will be seeing you again soon.